Our closer look tonight involves the confusion surrounding the swine flu vaccine. The government originally predicted 40 million doses of vaccine would be available by the end of October. Now says there'll only be about 28 million. And people who want the vaccine are finding tremendous difficulty getting any information about when and where it'll be available. In fact, we found today, checking around the country, that what information you can get is often a function of where you live. Here's John McKenzie. The lucky ones, as many as 3,000 people today in the city of Industry, California, got H1N1 flu vaccine. But elsewhere, tempers have flared as people waited for hours only to be turned away. All it needed was like a little bit of pushing and it would have been a whole scene. For months, health officials have been emphatic. Get the vaccine as soon as you can. But today, many people are having trouble not only finding the vaccine, but just learning where and when to expect it. We asked ABC News correspondents across the country to join in the search. Outside Denver, Colorado. The federal government uh, website refers me to you guys. ABC's Clayton Sandell was directed to a Walgreens pharmacy, which it turned out had no vaccine and no idea when it would. Here in Colorado, we called everyone from state and local health departments to clinics and doctors. After spending more than an hour on the phone, I'm still no closer to finding the vaccine. It was a similar story in parts of the Midwest. ABC's Barbara Pinto spent the day searching the Internet. It can be pretty frustrating. For Missouri, we clicked through a maze of websites, link after link, and still never found what we were looking for. It's not all bad. In Florida, ABC's Steve Osinsami found that while most places did not have the shots, county health departments were helpful, guiding them to places that did. Checking health department websites, we found huge disparities. Some states, including New Jersey, Kansas, and Georgia, have direct links to flu shot locators and actual clinic dates. Others, including Mississippi and Alabama, offer little more than the suggestion to call your health care provider. In Baltimore, Maryland, Elizabeth Hubeck's nine-year-old daughter has asthma, which should put her at the front of the line. But where? I thought I'd be able to get the vaccine at my children's pediatrician. Um, hasn't been offered there. Um, county clinics have been canceled and overwhelmed by lines. Even members of Congress, hearing from so many frustrated Americans, today called on the Centers for Disease Control to do a better job communicating where and when people can find this elusive vaccine. John McKenzie, ABC News, New York. And having checked across the country, we have put together what information we could get about how and when you might get the vaccine. You'll find it at our blog, The World Newser, at abcnews.com.